Okay, good morning guys, what's up? So here I am, 6 in the morning at the airport already. It's way too early to be up and about, but I am excited because I'm off to Delhi for the day and I'm going to be spending time with some really awesome watches. As you all know how obsessed I am about watches and discovering cool new watches. So, um, I'm ready to board the 7.30 Jet Airways flight. I, do, you know, I usually take that flight because it's the most convenient option. Uh, I'm headed to Delhi for about three hours today and I'm gonna be discovering some really cool stuff. So curious to know what I'm up to. If you aren't already aware about Oris Watches, a niche Swiss brand that exists since 1904. Yes, it was founded in 1904. Lots of really cool watches as a whole aviation connect. Love the design, love the aesthetics. So it's not one of the uh, conventional brands that everybody knows about. So I'm excited to discover Oris because I'm going to catch up with the CEO, the global CEO of Oris Watches and we're going to be talking watches and discovering this whole new niche and um, hopefully that's going to be a fun experience later today. So I'm going to be uh, out there bringing it to you live. So watch this space. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm with someone really cool today who's in Delhi all the way from Switzerland and he's one of the coolest watch guys I've ever met. I'm with the CEO of Oris Watches. So, Rolf, you want to say hi to all the guys out there? Hi, Ryan. Hi, everybody out there. It's really great to be here. It's great to talk about watches with you. Okay, so guys, for all of you who know and don't know, Oris uh, is a niche a Swiss brand founded in 1904. Am, am I right? 1904, you're right. Okay, yeah. so we're going to do a bit of uh, a bit of a 101 lesson on Oris watches to get you guys to know of one of the coolest watch brands that exists in the country right now. Um, let's start with talking about five things you need to know about Oris watches. So I'm going to leave, uh, let Rolf do the talking, and yep, go ahead. Well, there are many things you should know about Oris watches. One is we have been founded in 1904 in a small Swiss village in the Chura Mountains and we still make watches from there. Very important, we only make mechanical watches. Here you see one of our diverse watches, the Aquis, all mechanical and all signified by the red rotor. Okay, so only mechanical watches, guys. This is our Diver 65 model. As you know, we are over 110 years old, so we have very rich archives to dive into. The Divers 1965 is a re-edition of the very first Divers watch we made in 1965 but updated with today's technology. It has a stainless steel case, it's 100 meters waterproof and you see that wonderfully domed sapphire crystal that gives you the look of the 1960 um, plexiglass watches but with a scratch resistant sapphire crystal. Available on different straps and a perfect companion for all your summer adventures. I am wearing Caliber 113 today, which also is in our series of in-house movement. It has a 10-day hand-winding movement and a non-linear power reserve indication here at 3 o'clock. Okay, so tell me about this non-linear power reserve indicator. What, what, what exactly do you mean? Actually, this is an Oris patent and as we have 10-day of power reserve, we want to tell um, the owner of the watch how much power reserve is left. So you see here at the beginning, the indication is very narrow because it's not so important to know if you have nine or eight days power left. But towards the end, the indication spreads out because you need to know if you just have one or only half a day of power left. Also, this watch features a month indication as well as a pointer week indication. So you, you will always know what month and what week of the year you are in. Not even a smartphone tells Not you that. This is our Aquis line. This is our go-to diver's watch. 43 millimeters, sapphire crystal, 300 meters, water resistant. It has been updated this year with a slightly angular ceramic bezel. There is a new crown, new crown protectors, um, a reworked metal band, um, a slightly different um, shape on the case, um, new indices, reworked hands, just small details we updated to make this watch even more elegant and beautiful. Here we have our in-house movement Calibre 111 in the Pro Pilot line, which is our aviation watch. It also features our non-linear power reserve indication together with our in-house 10-day power reserve movement and all the power comes from that huge barrel. And here you see these two warm gears. They actually create 
the nonlinear power reserve indication. The dial is in a subtle anthracite with um, very well readable white numerals. So most important with an aviation watch is that it is clearly readable. Nevertheless, it has an elegant touch because of this subtle gray dial that we have given to this and watch. Course, the big. And of course, it's our big crown collection. Big crown so collection. it has a big screw down crown here at three o'clock. Okay, so tell me the story behind this big crown. Why is it important for a pilot's watch to have a big crown? In the old days, in the early days of aviation, <laughs> it wasn't the watch people who were wearing gloves, it was the aviation people who were wearing gloves. And with these thick gloves, they needed to have big crowns in order um, to manipulate their watches. That's why um, some aviation watches have big crowns and we made a whole collection with big crowned watches. Here we have the Chrono Estate. We have, with our long history, rich archives um, to find inspiration for today's watches. Chronoris was our first chronograph in 1970. Here we gave it an update in this watch. You can see, with this crown at 4 o'clock, you can rotate the inner bezel. Okay, so the inner bezel is actually rotating exactly. with the crown at 4 o'clock. That's amazing. And this way you can measure time without actually having a chronograph, which was Norris invention in the 1970s and we updated it for um, today's watches with this model we have here. You see this um, case in um, a 70s um, fashion shape. Very retro. Very retro. You see the orange and gray color combination, which is also very retro. And the beautiful um, seven piece um, metal bracelet that complements that retro look and gives it a subtle elegance. Here we have our Pro Pilot World Timer. Oris launched the World Timer complication, which is a second time zone complication, 20 years ago. It used to have pushes at 4 and 8 o'clock. To celebrate the 20 years anniversary of this movement, we gave it um, new, a new functionality. Now we don't have the pushes anymore, but you adjust the time simply by rotating the bezel. So wherever you go, you just rotate the bezel. Do that again. Just rotate the bezel and adjust it to your local time. Your home time will be displayed here at three o'clock with a day and night indication window at nine o'clock. At night time, this window is black. During daytime, this window is night, so you don't call home at um, four o'clock in the morning. 